Today we're going to learn about flame test and we're going to test four different ions that are required by IGCSE and these are sodium, copper, potassium, and lithium ions. So first we're going to prepare our loop. This metal loop must be washed in concentrated HCl solution and washing it with acid gets rid of all the impurities, other metal ions that are stuck on the loop. So after washing it with concentrated acid, then we can start the flame test. For flame test, we need a hot fire, hot flame. So we need to maximize the oxygen flow in the Bunsen burner and get this blue flame. And before we start, we just burn the uh, loop once again, just to ensure that there is no impurities left over on the wire. Okay, let's do our first test. I'm going to be using the solid sodium chloride and also the solution of sodium chloride. Okay, since sodium chloride solid will not stick on the loop, I have to make the loop wet first. So I'm going to use distilled water to wet the loop. Now that the loop is wet, I can easily catch the um, sodium chloride crystal on it. So for sodium, you can see this distinct yellow flame. And if we repeat the process using the solution, We will also see a similar color of flame. Yellow. Right, now we're going to wash the loop again. The second test that we will do is copper chloride test. So we are testing the flame color of copper ion. And you can see this blue green color, uh, blue green flame produced by copper 2 ion. Again, we will repeat the test using the solution this time. It still gives you blue-green color. One more time. The next test that we will do is lithium. I'm going to leave potassium to the last one for the last one. So lithium. Gives you very bright red color. I dropped some crystals there. Lithium solution now. Very nice 
red color. The last ion that we're going to do a flame test on is potassium. And sometimes the color of potassium is um, potassium flame is a bit hard to see. Let's see what it looks like. It's, it's, uh, the flame color has a tinge of purple, if you can see on the side here. It's got a tinge of purple, lilac color. And that's exactly the color that we want to see for potassium. So let me do that again. I'll repeat it with the solution this time. It's lilac color 